Hi everyone, it's Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back to everybody who uh, visits me regularly. I appreciate you guys a lot. I'm doing something different today. I am going to do a little bit of an unboxing and explaining of some um, camera glasses that I picked up um, to use and to try out in situations where I need my hands free and can, you know, just be able to film and get you guys some good footage. If you're new to my channel, my primary uh, focus here on this channel is vintage. I go shopping for vintage items, um, we do shop-alongs, I do hauls of vintage items, and then once a week here on my channel on Wednesday, I do a live vintage sale. Uh, that does happen at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And then now I'm doing once a month on the second Tuesday, I'm doing a joint sale with other resellers here on my channel. So. That's what I do, and in order to make that happen easily, I thought I would try out some of these camera glasses. Now, I do have to give a shout out to Lynn from Halen Vintage. She came to our big Springfield, Ohio Antiques Festival YouTuber meetup thing, and if you haven't seen that video yet, you'll want to check that out there. Um, but she came and she had on a pair of these glasses. And I, had, I wasn't even aware that they existed. Now, she had on a very high-end pair of Ray-Ban glasses. Um, I am taking a look at some of uh, the more cost-efficient for me glasses. I didn't need it to do radio or any other kind of stuff in there. I just needed it to film. Um, so I did film with them a couple times. So I will tell you my observations as well as um, showing you what comes in the box and what I think of the glasses. I did get a second box um, of a second brand of glasses that I haven't yet tried out. By the time this video is over, I will have and I will insert footage there, but I'm look very excited about trying that out and seeing how they compare to the first pair of glasses that I got. Um, and you know, seeing whether or not they're gonna be a fit for my business. The first pair of glasses that I purchased are these Rip and Gio, I think is how you would pronounce it, glasses. Um, they came in a box like this. I don't know if this was in the box originally or not, but it comes with this nice little case. And then these are the glasses here. I like the fact that the camera is in the center, but you cannot see it. So there's no depression there. Um, I do think that it is nice when people are not um, readily aware that you are filming in certain situations. I like that a lot. Um, you'll notice that it does not have its second um, earpiece. And that's because that earpiece is um, what powers the glasses and that comes in the box. So let me show you what comes in the box. So this is the box here, and inside the box, it comes with, like I said, I think the case and everything, I think it was all nicely contained. It does come with separate sunglass um, lenses, which is very nice. Now for me, I would not be wearing this out where I would need sunglasses because I need prescription lenses. Um, these do work for me in a close-up situation, so that's um, why I use them there. Forgive the fingerprints. <laughs> anyway, um, you can also actually have prescription lenses made for these, so that was a selling point for me on these glasses as well. And again, like I said, they do come with the um, eye or the uh, sunglass lenses in the box. Also in the box, of course, is their little, you know, manual. Then you get two of the powering uh, frames, which I really liked that because that means that I can have one um, I can use two. I can go for longer and I will have to see if I can find the specs that they said and put put it in here s somewhere so that you can see what they say as far as the length that they're supposed to be able to last. Um, and then this is the charging mechanism. So you would attach your um, your frames to this. 
like that and then you would charge this into you know just your USB um, charging device so that's very nice that was nice and easy now the SD card is already in the camera um, I will show you where that goes in a second but it did come with a 64 gigabyte um, SD card and it also comes with a little adapter that you can use on your computer to put that SD card in um, and just you know plug it right into your computer that was a nice feature it comes with these little tweezers those tweezers do come in handy in removing your SD card the SD card actually fits in a slot let's see if I can get it in the right place right there on the side of your glasses and um, so it does like I said it does come in handy to be able to remove it um, I may not be able to do it on camera very there we go so it comes out geez me and me in focus so it comes out right there they do give you the little um, tweezers that you can pull out I have had pretty good luck getting it in and out sometimes I turn it <laughs> upside down shake it around um, but it does it does come out pretty easily I know it's it's come out easily whoops so there it is um, so yeah very nice that part of it I liked a lot so yes I did look at quite a number of them online before I purchased these and those were some of the features that I really liked what I did not like about using these glasses was um, first of all you cannot change the date on um, the timestamp so not that it puts it directly on there I think it does maybe but that's not the point that's a problem it's when it shows up on your computer um, it sorts them based on that date which I believe is back in 2020 or 2021 I mean it's pretty old and it starts from there so it's not the actual date they tell you in the little book how to change that but it does not work and all of the uh, comments that I've seen from anybody else who has used these say that it does not work they cannot make it change that another thing that I do not like about those glasses is that I lost footage I lost a lot of footage so how it works is you put the glasses on now let's do it for you hold on all right so you put the glasses on they don't look too bad <laughs> And people wear glasses like this all the time. I don't think that they're very noticeable. And again, the little thing in the center, you can't really uh, tell. So that's kind of cool. Um, but you are able to press hard press on this side and it will turn on your glasses. Um, now, so you can look to the side and you can see whether they're on or not. And I did that <laughs> when I was filming. Now, it could be user error on my part, but I lost a lot of footage um, in filming. And the, it was a 64 gigabyte card, so it shouldn't have overwritten anything. You know what I'm saying? So that is definitely a downside to this. Now, maybe if I played around with it more, kept using it, I don't know. Also, I will insert footage here one of the other things that I did not like about these glasses was that I could not delete any of the videos. So, and I couldn't, um, I couldn't rename them in the, so they came out as they did. Also, it films in AVI format and my uh, editing, my photo editing app that I use on my phone, I use PowerDirector Pro and I love it. Um, it will only do videos that are in um, mp4 format so I'm going to insert here um, some of the video that I took while I was wearing the glasses so that you can kind of see um, what kind of video it takes now I was in an attic here and the light level was a little bit lower uh, so it's not very crisp and clear they say 1080p but it's really not I don't think the quality is exceptionally good. Um, again, it could have its uses. Um, the, the other thing that I don't like about it is that it's very shaky. Uh, there's no stabilization on it. Um, so as I'm walking, you know, everything is kind of shaky. Plus, since they're right in the middle of my face, anytime I turn my head, you know, it pans. and. <laughs> I'm the kind of person that I might look down at something and look back at something and look. It's very, it was very hard to try to 
turn my head very slowly and not um, turn quickly. So that was definitely a downside to the glasses as well. So you can, you know, you can decide what you think about that footage and what you think about the glasses. I think they were in the $80 range. They were definitely affordable and I was really, um, it was fun to, fun to try them out. Um, so I'm going to unbox the next pair, let you see that, and then I'll test them out and we can talk about that later too. Okay, so I did buy them from Amazon. I, I will put the links here in the description. I am not an Amazon affiliate, so I'm not going to get a kickback if you um, purchase them. But uh, let's see what's in the box for this one. Say They actually packaged it decently. <laughs> How many times do you get something from Amazon where they just throw it in the box like this? So um, it did have some bubble uh, bubbles in there, so that's cool. So this is Oho Sunshine is what the box is here. And this is the top of it. Oh, the case is nice on this. Nice hard case. I like that you can snap it onto your belt and stuff. I really like the case already. So this is what comes inside it. Oh, that's a cleaning lens. Look at that. All right, so we have our little um, instructions sheet here. User manual, they call it. How to operate the camera glasses. It looks very similar to the other one so far. So here are two cords. Um, one has this, okay, one has this smaller opening there. Actually, they both, so they might be identical. I don't know why I got two. And then here is the package with the glasses. Okay, already I can tell you I don't like these. I don't know how they function, but the look of them I don't like. I do not like the fact that there is a hole here where the camera lens is. Um, yeah, because that's going to be very noticeable to people. All right, this would be the charging port on it right there. And then, and then look at how that, that would break off very quickly. That's just a little soft rubber piece of material. So I'm assuming without reading the instructions that you press this little button to film. This is pause and stop. Um, and I don't think you take the, the things off of them at all to do it. So, so I'm wondering how it must have an attached, I'll look at the thing and then we'll talk again in a second, but I'm going to put them on so you can see what they look like. All right. So let's try these on. Okay. The fit is okay. They might be just a little bit tight, tight on the ears, but loose here. Um, and as you can tell, look at this. So we, we look right there and we can see that hole. Um, they do have a slight, slight tint to them, even though I, I did not get on purpose actual sunglasses, which they do sell. Um, but they don't look so bad. The fact that they're not shiny, yeah, could be a plus, could be a, a negative. I don't know. But that's what they look like. Before I even tried them out, I was looking at the instructions and I found out some other very useful information. First of all, uh, so we already saw that this is the charging area there. Right here is the micro SD port and it does not come with a micro SD card. So there is an expense there and you can only put up to a 32 gigabyte card in here. So I'm not even sure I have one of those <laughs> laying around. I'll have to see um, and see whether or not I can test them here for you. This may just be an unboxing and a, you know, a explanation of the other pair. We'll see. Okay. So it's the next day. I started charging those Oho, what are they called? Oho Sunshine um, glasses. I started charging those yesterday, probably around one or two o'clock in the afternoon. It's supposed to take three hours to charge. By the time I left, they had not charged. Um, so I left them charging, came back today, and they still had a red light on them. So I have not been able to test them for you because the battery never charged. So they're going back to Amazon um, as a big bust. 
<laughs> not did not work for me. Um, and I told you already that there were some things out of the box that I was not that happy with. Um, overall, I think I preferred the other glasses. And I told you some of the peccadillas that the other glasses had as well. Um, but I'm probably going to hang on to those because, you know, I mean, they might come in handy here and there. I hope that I can overcome the uh, missing files. I hope that was user error. Um, but, it, you know, I, they were inexpensive enough. They were not cheap, but they were not the price of the higher end uh, glasses that I've seen. Some of those higher end glasses, though, if you're interested, like the Ray-Bans I was talking about earlier, I think they're Ray-Ban Facebook glasses. Um, they actually have like um, Bluetooth in them so you can like play music and do stuff that way but those actually only only record in one format they only record vertically uh, so that was something that was an issue for me there um, I'm trying to think I don't think I had that problem with these glasses when I filmed um, but I did show you some of that footage. So I hope you like that. This is a little different content for those of you who are my regular viewers. I think thank you very much if you watched until the end. I thought you might be interested in it, especially if you make videos. Um, for any of you that are coming that have never been to my channel before because this was an unboxing and uh, it attracts different people, thanks for being here. Um, again, I am a vintage reseller here on YouTube and most of my content is about going out and sourcing vintage items, things that have been undervalued in stores estate sales, antique stores, uh, rummage sales, all that kind of stuff. I really love that. That's what my content is. And every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Eastern, I have a live sale right here on my channel. So maybe you'll join me there. Thanks, you guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, hey, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.